Salutations everyone, this is D. Lynette here coming to you with part 4 of my couch conversation with D. Lynette regarding mental health. I'm just sitting on the couch chilling. Some people like doing their videos in their bed, but I'm just on my couch chilling um, and trying to finish this impossible whopper I've been eating on for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes. Um, but I'm still trying to finish it. I don't eat a lot anymore. I'm getting fast food, whether it's Impossible Burger or not. It's on rare occasion. Um, but please go to my plant-based diva page to see my um, healthier lifestyle. Because it's Impossible Burger is a plant-based meat. So please go to that page under D. Lynette to know more about my um, plant-based eating lifestyle. I stop this video every 10 minutes because of moto and I talked about that already and <clears throat> plus it's easier to upload now. Okay so I was talking about um, mental health and speak sister that came on own yesterday night on own network and these uh, powerful and women like you and me um, were talking about their mental health and their childhood trauma and they was telling their stories boy on own and it was all African American Oprah or whoever collaborated to put this together it was for African American and I say that because um, on their own page you know own network page under the show where they was posting the show um, I guess a non-Caucasian because I posted something on there I mean I made a comment about how I really enjoyed the show and it helped me um, the other comments on there were non-black I guess and they were saying mental health is no color is everybody all races it's not just about African American. I don't even know exactly what the lady said or was typing or whatever. But the thing is, can we have something for ourselves? Can we just have something for ourselves? So she's basically bashing the 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 um the special segment because it was a room full of black people on her own network and on you know she has they have their black movies, then they have regular stuff. Universal, universal, whatever you want to call it. The Oprah Winfrey show for umpteen years, what, over 20 years, was universal. So now because um, she is focusing at this moment, we all know mental health is no color. But at this moment, African Americans, are women are speaking up about their traumas and, and that you know their hurts even though they're professionals and this and this and that got husbands whatever the case may be they still got in the back of their mind right so <clears throat> that comment and then but somebody else you know counter commented that and was like we understand that but um, African Americans um, is something that was needed so um I'm about to close these. The blinds are closed, but you know, the curtains. And I got the light on, so let me go ahead and. Uh, 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 uh. Let me go ahead. Ooh, I'm about to close these blinds. Oh, well, the curtains. I have the room darkening curtains, you know, how to go. And so, yeah, can't African. I mean, it's time for African American to speak up. It's time for African American to speak up. And speak out. That's what I've been. Oops. That's what I've been doing with my vlogs. Oh, these are my candles that I have to clean off the top because um, these are my candles. I'll show them again, but I already talked about them, so I'm not gonna talk about them again. These are my candles from Bath and Body Works. I bought four of them. They were two 
for 20 so I brought four because I this is something I do for me rare but um I, I rarely go in the bath and body works but I needed some candles and Walmart candles don't do it for me so anyway guys um yeah that comment was like excuse me it's from my burger burping why oh yeah that hat right there TJ Maxx so why as soon as it's something just for us African American women in particular somebody has to be like mental illness is not we know that but it is not talked about much in a black community it's always been talked about universal and when I mean universal I mean Caucasian but my word is universal um and I cut this video every 10 minutes because it, until I, I guess only when you do live does this stuff work longer. I don't know. But, yeah. So, anyway, Sister Speak Sis on OWN. You just go to OWN and you find it like anything else. Um, the panel was amazing. You know, Oprah, she, she wasn't in the studio. She was on, you know on the vit on the screen um I guess from her home but the panel was amazing the audience was made amazing they told their real true stories about how it stems for from childhood lots of times and the psychiatrist that was on a panel she even had her own childhood trauma and she was like childhood trauma is real and I've been dealing with that for all my life and that's why I wrote three books that's why I do these vlogs and blogs on Facebook and YouTube under dealing at the author because I'm sharing my I've been sharing my truth but I don't get any likes any comments no nothing it's like it's a public page and nothing like it's not circulating nowhere unless you know, you boost it or something, but even still. So, um, but I, that's this is my mental health. I figured out what my mental health release is just to vlog and blog and just randomly talk on this couch like I am now. Um, just sharing, you know, what I know and bringing up topics from things that I see, and I bring up my topics. My opinion is just like everybody else, but it's on my own video, so, you know, because when you comment on the other people's pages about a topic, they're getting that, um, exposure. So, I'd rather take it to my own platform. So, anyway, um, it, it was an amazing show, and... I tell a little bit about my I've been sharing my story but and I'm not gonna repeat the whole story you have to go back and look at my YouTube videos but from the time I was 13 I been I was traumatized and then I've been dealing with it since and it wasn't until I was in my late 30s 37 38 that I started confronting my both my mother and father they're divorced living their own lives but on my when it comes to my father I talk to him when it comes to my mother I talk to her and it just still falls on deaf ears. And I got an older sister that she got over her trauma. So she, she, she's, we used to talk about this stuff and no longer had, had that when she just said, I, I let it go. So, you know, we didn't have no connection no more. She's five years older. And then my baby sister, half sister from mother's second marriage that didn't last. I already told that story. Um, she 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 didn't understand anything because she didn't she didn't deal with none of the traumas. She maybe she had her own traumas, but she didn't deal with none of my traumas. Um, like me and my older sister, so um, she couldn't she couldn't see what I was telling her about me and my mother, me and our mother. And so she like you grown, you over eighteen. So once you over eight, no, I'm talking when I was in my thirties. She said this. Once you over eighteen, once you over eighteen, I was like I know my life is my life. But I still got these issues with my mother. So the sis speaks. Even the psychiatrist was saying, like, you know, you have you still have trauma with your parents. Because they, they did what they did. But the thing is, my I'm gonna cut this off in a second. 
my mom and dad, they were regular folks. There was no reason for them to drop me off at my grandma's at 13. There was no reason. They were regular, hard, middle class, low middle, you know, I'm not saying upper middle, there's low, medium. They were about like lower middle class, meaning they were working and provided a nice, a nice apartment back then when I was young and um, taking care of us. But then at 13, they they both dropped me off. Me and they been went on with their lives, been divorced since I was five. But they, I got to cut this off. I'm sorry. Be right back.